If you own a longboard or a skateboard, you're eventually going to want to clean your bearings as they can get clogged through use through dust or water or the lube can dry out through lack of use. And this can damage the bearings and just generally slow your ride. So today I'm going to be showing you how to clean any regular skateboard or longboard bearing and these are the ones with the rubber shields and it's a relatively simple process, it doesn't need any skate specific tools. So the first step to cleaning your bearings is taking your bearings out of the wheel and this will actually require you to take the entire wheel off the hanger. This can be done with a regular shifting spanner adjusted to fit width of your nut or any skate tool. So you just unscrew the nut. Make sure you watch out for any speed rings that could be between the nut and the bearing and might fall off when you take off the nut. Take the whole wheel off the hanger. Now it's time for you to get your bearings out of your wheels. And you do this by using your hanger as a lever to get your bearing out of the wheel until it looks like this. And then you simply put it onto the hanger. And you're going to watch out for any bearing spaces that might be in between your bearings, which will keep them spinning. And save those for later, screw them on with your nut. Once there are no bearings or spaces left in any of your wheels, it's time to start cleaning your bearings. Most regular skateboard or longboard bearings will have one or two rubber shields. Most reds only have one, and that's that red rubber shield on the front there that fits on the outside of the wheel to protect it from getting dust and dirt in it. You're going to remove this with an ordinary pin by fitting it into the outside of that rubber shield and just levering it off, being careful not to pierce the actual metal inside that rubber shield, as you can see there. Once that's done, what you don't want to do is get out any of these plastic bits as they can damage the bearing and make it irreparable you can't fit the balls back into it once it's out so that's ready to be cleaned you just got to do that to the rest of your seven bearings once you've removed all your bearing shields you can actually start to clean your bearings and you can do this either by putting them into a glass jar filling it with about half a cup of methylated spirits and swirling them around to loosen and dissolve any residual dust and grime and lubrication so that they're ready to be put into your skateboard. Alternately, you can use a bearing cleaner designed specifically to clean bearings, which will come with your bearing spaces and a screw to screw the bearings on. So it's the same concept wherein you screw your bearings onto the bearing cleaner. ensuring that your bearing, the ball bearings, face towards the lid. Then you put a spacer in between each one. You then fill your bearing cleaner with about half a cup of methylated spirits. Screw the lid back on. and actually shake your bearings to remove any residual dust and grime. If they're not too dirty, you can reuse your methylated spirits for the next time, but if they are, your methylated spirits will turn black like that, fill up with dirt and dust and grime, and you shake for about five to 10 minutes to remove any dust. Once you've finished shaking your bearings and you're satisfied with how clean they might be, you unscrew the lid of the container and take the bearings out. Now you have to remove any residual methylated spirits from your bearing, as the methylated spirits can corrode your bearing and dissolve any lube that you may put into it. If you've also used a jar and have been unable to shake your bearings, you may need to use your little brother's toothbrush to remove any remaining debris from your bearing by scrubbing it. And to, dis and to remove any methylated spirits, you run the bearing under hot water while you're doing this.
Once you're satisfied with how your bearing is spinning and how clean it looks, you can start with the rest of your bearings and put this one aside to dry. Once you've rinsed your bearings with the methylated spirits, you'll also need to dry them completely of water, as the water can rust and corrode your bearings as well. To do this, you'll need to set a hairdryer to high heat to evaporate the water and high blow to blow any off onto the paper towel that will absorb the rest. First of all, you're going to do it with the actual ball bearings facing down to blow anything out of the ball bearings, and then you're going to flip them over with the ball bearings facing out and re dry them. When you're flipping them, ensure that you use tea towel or something because the bearings will heat up very quickly and this will help to evaporate any residual water. While you're drying your bearings, you're going to need to clean your bearing shields, the rubber shields we removed earlier, to ensure that any dust or grime or whatever's on them doesn't get into the bearings once they're cleaned. And again, you can do this with a toothbrush and under hot water, but do not use methylated spirits as will corrode the rubber. Once you're satisfied with how clean and dry your bearings and your bearing shields are, it's time to lube your bearings to protect them for further riding. You can use most lubrication, and all it takes is one drop into the bearing. Spin it around a bit to ensure that it's nice and smooth and if there is a bit of clunking you may need to clean them or you may need to apply another drop to make it roll nice and smooth and you do that to all your bearings and once you're done simply fit the bearing shield back onto the front of your bearing by pressing it in like that. Now that your bearings are clean it's time to fit them back onto the axle with the wheel, any speed rings or bearing spaces you might have. And the easiest way to do this is by putting your first bearing onto the wheel, putting the outside edge of your wheel onto the axle, clicking the bearing into place, then putting your inside bearing with any bearing spaces or speed rings you may have, clicking those into place so you don't have to deal with the bearing spacer rattling around. Then screwing your wheel, screwing your wheel nut on, and your wheel back onto the hanger. And once you've finished cleaning your bearings, it's a good idea to go ride your skateboard for a bit to ensure that your lube is moved throughout the wheel and any excess lube exits the wheel.